hi guys welcome back to my channel i am sydney for those who are new if you are returning welcome back uh guys i'm just gonna get right to it this video um i feel like i am ready to finally share with the world um my weight loss journey as you guys know back in july I don't know if it was like August or July, I had uploaded a video and I was trying like low carb, keto, intermittent fasting. Um, I was trying that out and I did I, I did a two week update and I just, I don't know, I just let it go. <laughs> but I do have an update for you guys cause I, my body looks totally different than what it, do, what it did um, back when I started this. So now I'm ready to share with you all you know how i managed to maintain a certain weight and basically give you guys all the tea on how i basically lost 25 pounds in nine months continue watching this video if you want to hear more about my journey as you guys know i have struggled with my weight since you know high school undergrad and you know all undergrad it was just like ugh, it was bad so I think I got up to about I think it was like almost 200 pounds it was like 198 mind you guys like I'm only five I'm only five one sometimes I'm five two but I'm short you know I was really obese and you know, I never wanted to admit that I was obese, but you know, on paper I was obese. Like, ugh. In undergrad, I was able to get it to about like a 187, 188. And I felt good about that because that's when I was like trying be like to be vegan and I was trying all these other things, you know, so I got my weight down a little bit. Um, but for the longest, like the last two years, I was floating around uh, one, what was it, 188, 187. I was floating around that. When I went to the, the like my primary care, I did my follow-up appointment in July, and she told me I was 187, and that's when I kind of was like, is it okay if, you know, I try like intermittent fasting to like lose weight? And she was like, um, Basically, I told her kind of what it is. I think she knew what it was, but she wanted me to like explain it to her. And she was like, that's totally fine. Try it out. And after that, after that, that's when I was like, okay, well, I'm going to try intermittent fasting. My doctor said it's okay. It would help me with my weight loss since A, she already knew that I had been trying to work out and I'm already been conscious of what I'm eating. So she said, I mean, try it. So I tried it. Um, at, like I will admit the first like, so September, October, November, I was like, preparing myself i was eating salmon literally every day like i prepped i meal prepped as you guys saw i don't know if i put it in this last video but kind of what i would eat every week i would meal prep so basically i've been meal prepping since september and i was meal prepping like salmon and um shoot i was meal prepping i don't remember what i was eating with it but i was meal prepping and then like you know the new year comes around and i was like okay new year you know change something sydney so i mentally changed something and i started to cut back more on carbs like more on carbs like meaning no carbs like you know because i would sometimes cheat and um eat like a little rice or a little you know that and no i had to cut all that out so at the beginning of the year i cut all that out and i kind of um Kinda, I got a new recipe and I was doing ground turkey more. Um, in the start of the year, that's when I started to see kind of um, the weight dropping. Like literally every time I would step on the scale, the weight was going down. And I post like pictures from my Instagram of posting those pictures because I've tracked it on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at naturally Sydney G. I will put it somewhere here. Um, but no, I, I posted kind of, you know, my journey, everything. 
and when my waist started to decrease i was like literally it's falling off it was like it's literally falling off every week it would go down 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 and i was like oh wow so and like i want to say march i had to look at the picture to see which exactly i weighed myself and i was like 161 i'll post a weight up here somewhere um and then a couple months maybe like a month later i weighed myself and i was still the same the same weight so i'm like okay i got this this is this is me i'm at this weight i was at 161.3 i believe and i've been maintaining that weight for since about march since about march so i would say august september october november december january february march so yeah nine months to get it off well like i said i cranked it up in the beginning of the year so i'm gonna crank it up and say january february march april january february march like that's three months of i think 10 pounds and maintaining that 10 pounds you know what i'm saying so and then before like i said it was 180 so i have lost about 25 pounds since july and i've been maintaining it but i have lost 25 pounds about 25 pounds Ooh, I have lost about 25 pounds like at first I thought that was like a like not enough like I needed to lose more but as I'm like seeing how my body is like you know maintaining this weight it's like okay maybe you just gotta lose five more pounds and you'll be like snatched honey snatched <laughs> um yeah, down 25 pounds. Uh, I will kind of show you guys where my waist was when I started this. So give me one second, I'm gonna go get some tape measure and measure my, my waist. When I first started and I measured myself, I was 36 at the top, and then I believe I measured my belly button, and then I measured, I'm sorry, I was, um, yeah, 36 at the top, and then 38 at like where my, my pusa, the part, and then my belly button. So I'm gonna get the tape measure and I'm going to measure them today. Let's see what they are. Okay. Yeah, I measured up here to the center of me. And that's at a 30. You see? It's right there at a 30. Okay. Ooh, at 30. And I, I wanted this little part right here that goes in. I wanted it to be like under 30. So we'll see what it is. Let's see. Ooh, hold on. So. Okay. I think we got a 29. We got a 29. Okay. Now, like I said, the lower part right here that struggle part it was did i say 36 or 38 i can't remember either one it was big let's see what it is today oh wow so it is at a 32. so roughly about four inches around my waist um so roughly about four inches around my waist in total um and i that's pretty good uh i am like able to wear like smalls and mediums instead of large and extra large so that's a good feeling my and medium my pants are like sevens eights which is great um yeah yep so yeah that's my journey <laughs> uh, I'll try to post a lot of pictures in this video um, so you guys can kind of get my journey in one or you can like I said follow me on Instagram um, naturally Sydney G 
uh, and guys don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you hi guys welcome back to my channel i don't know why i always want to do an accent that's why i feel like i need to learn a, another language hi my name is sydney no hi my name is sydney no mm -mm. no hi hey hey my name is sydney i am welcome back to my channel no girl no Absolutely not.